I totally despise politicians and government bureaucrats who love to manage our world, control our lives, set the rules for our world, and then they don't live by those same rules. That's the elitist thing that we talk about. Now, I'm going to hit the Democrat administration because that's what we have. A Republican administration would be much of the same, hopefully not quite as bad. So let's start with John Kerry, our climate czar. He was in DeVos, of course. He, among other of the wealthiest, most powerful people on the planet, because that's who meets at DeVos every single year. He actually made the comment that economic growth is bad for the environment. I, I don't have words to tell you how insane and idiotic that opinion is. And it was echoed by other speakers at that conference. Kind of fun when you've benefited from economic growth more than anyone in the history of the world. Now you can say, well, we don't need that anymore. So they want to stop it for the rest of us. And what's even crazier, it's economic growth that will save us from climate change and literally save lives. Out of that economic growth comes inventions and innovations and technology that can change our world for the better. And we've seen that happen. And they want to stop that. See, they want government to take control of our lives because, again, it's their planet. Then there's Joe Biden. I wanted to jump through the TV screen as he whispered about reducing deficits. He was patting himself on the back, which is just insane to me. I mean, it's like a baseball player coming to home plate and striking out on three pitches and then running around the bases as though he hit a home run. And we're all, all out there giving him a standing ovation and cheering for this wonderful accomplishment. Well, you can believe it's a home run, but at the end of the day, in the scorebook, it is an out, not a run. There is no glory in just reducing deficits. I wish the press, they won't do this, but I wish they would ask him. Because it appears the American people are just dumb when it comes to economic words and principles. Hey, Joe, would you explain to the American people what a deficit is? And of course, a deficit is when you spend more money than you have. And that's why Congress has to raise this debt ceiling and fight over that. It's just incredible. And I'll finish with Janet Yellen, just to sum this thing up. So she travels in her private jet and entourage. Last week again, 4,200 miles to Zurich, Switzerland. Now she's our Secretary of Treasury. She was meeting with her counterpart from China, Vice Chairman Liu, I think was his name. Uh, this may be the most meaningless meeting I've ever read about or heard about in my life. I mean, nothing happened here. Nothing was even proposed. No, nego no negotiations. I mean, zero stuff. And even funnier, the guy from China has already announced his retirement, so he's not even going to be around. And the big thing discussed was Janet is looking forward to going to China later in the year with her private jet and entourage once again. I mean, talking about doing a meeting by email or even Zoom, I mean, this was it. Here's the point you need to understand. Again, politicians, government bureaucrats, they want to control, manage, set rules for your world. They never intend to live by them themselves. You know, Janet could have called John and said, Hey, John, I noticed that we're both going to be in Switzerland at the same time. DeVos is less than 100 miles from Zurich. But there is never, not a second ever given from these politicians or bureaucrats, the elitists, to say, could we save a couple of dollars for the taxpayers, especially when we're going in debt so much? But see, they don't live in our world. And you wonder where Trump supporters came from.